There are two kinds of speakers in the world, those who are nervous and those who are liars. That's according to Mark Twain, renowned speaker and author in his own day. No matter how polished the presenter in our presentation skills training program, it's rare that they don't confess to being nervous on occasion. It just depends on what occasion and what's at stake during those presentations. So if you fall into either of Twain's categories, consider one of the following tips to bring that fear down to a manageable level so that it helps you perform at your best. First, prepare well. Nothing builds confidence like solid preparation. Talk and walk through your presentation. Just running through the content in your head won't do the trick. A real walkthrough lets you know the phrasing works, the transitions exist, and the timing fits. Another way to practice, memorize your opening two minutes. Understand that you'll be most nervous at the beginning. So memorize those first few sentences, cold. Another guideline, devise key words as a mnemonic phrase so that you can eliminate the fear of forgetting. For example, your opening might have three paragraphs that you memorize as B-I-D, bid. Each letter begins a key word of the opening sentence in that paragraph. Then you might outline your whole entire five-point talk as share, S-H-A-R-E, with each letter representing a key thought. Study, happy, art, research, evaluate. These words will bring an entire chunk of content to your mind. A third way to help you minimize fear, internalize rather than memorize. If you try to memorize your entire presentation and forget, you'll become flustered and that will only increase your nervousness. Instead, thoroughly understand and know how your content applies to your audience. Then outline your key points to guide you. Another way to help you deal with your nervousness, do isometrics. Tension builds up on restrained muscles. So relax that tension. To do, to do that, do some quick isometrics before you start to present. Lift your chair, yourself up off of your chair. Push yourself tightly against the wall. Tense your muscles and then relax them. Tense and then relax. Take a brisk walk down the hallway before you do your presentation. Another way to deal with nervousness, arrive early and visit with audience members. Ask why they're attending. What, ask what their roles are. Uh, what they hope to learn from your talk. Introduce audience members to each other. This interaction with audience members tends to relax you. It demonstrates to them that you're approachable. An added benefit is that when you see them later during your presentation, they look like old friends in the audience. Another tip, find your fans. Look around the room as you're speaking and find those friendly faces, the people that you've talked to earlier. Avoid looking at those expressions as though they ate nails for breakfast. Particularly, this is true at the beginning when you're the most nervous. Remember that a frown doesn't necessarily mean disinterest. Some people always wear a frown. They wear it as securely as a hairpiece. And then focus on the value you're delivering. Stop those fearful thoughts. Replace those thoughts with the value you're about to talk about. Remind yourself how pleased people have been in the past, how they've benefited from what you had to say. And then keep a security blanket handy. Most people worry about things that never happen. That's true of life in general, and it's certainly true of public speaking and presenting. What if I forget this illustration? What if I can't remember the statistics? What if I can't remember the source of that study or that survey? So to calm your nerves, prepare a brief outline of key words and sentences just to jog your memory. Have it somewhere available nearby for quick reference. Just knowing it's there gives you confidence that if you go totally blank, you can refer to it. And then breathe deeply, exhale slowly. 
Nervous presenters literally forget to breathe or their breathing becomes very shallow from here up. When you hear that squeaky voice, pause, take a deep breath, exhale slowly, and then feel yourself relax. Remember, fear is not your enemy. Fear can push you to peak performance. But rather than let it stall your career, make it work for you. If you have other tips to add, jot those in the comment section below.